welcome to Daba's Kids Reading Corner. Story time with my Daba. Today's story is The Night Before Groundhog Day, written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Woomer. Twas the night before Groundhog Day, and all through our town, everyone was waiting for tomorrow's countdown. Because in the morning, when we all come together, a groundhog will wake up and forecast the weather. If it's a bright sunny day, his shadow he'll see. That means six more weeks of winter they'll be. But if it's a cloudy and gray, his shadow won't appear. That's what I'm hoping for. It means spring will be here. At school, we did crafts at our art classes. We made groundhog masks. Mine had a bow tie and glasses. We made pop-up puppets with flat sticks and cups. We learned baby groundhogs are called cubs, kits, or pups. We studied our climate, plus the four seasons. The weather changes for all kinds of reasons. Then we all voted on what news the groundhog would bring. Everyone but one boy said there'd be an early spring. I like winter, said Paul. I'm crazy for snow. Not me, I told him. This cold weather has to go. At home after dinner, we baked special cupcakes. I added on frosting and coconut flakes. We hung our wool hats on hooks with great care. We'll be ready to celebrate, come foul weather or fair. That night I burrowed all snug in my bed while visions of groundhogs danced in my head. It's early in the morning, at last, Groundhog Day. It's not sunny at all. But will the clouds stay? My family bundles up and heads to town square where a crowd's already gathering. There's music in the air. The band starts playing a Groundhog Day song. When it comes to the chorus, the crowd sings along. I look up at the sky. Oh no! The sun's coming out! Come back, clouds! I beg with a shout. Excuse me, says a news reporter. What's your prediction? Spring! No winter! He reports. We have a contradiction. Grown-ups in top hats soon appear on the stage. The mayor reads a proclamation from a fancy scrolled page. Then, we all begin counting backward from ten, waiting for the groundhog to pop out of his den. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The crowd loudly chants, Wake up from your nap! The mayor waves her cane and gives the den a good tap. When what to our eyes should appear at last? But the official predictor to make his forecast. His eyes so sleepy, his cheeks so round, he finally climbs out from under the ground. Does he see a shadow? The world wants to know. Will there be spring or six weeks of snow?